Ahoy mateys and welcome back to a new tutorial. I'm going to show you how to set up Mario Kart Arcade GP2 on LaunchBox. Also how to set up your controls for a racing cab. Let's start with downloading the Triforce 4.0-315 Dolphin Emulator build. See link below. When complete, extract the contents to a location on your computer. See link below for 7-Zip. Go into the new folder and run the executable. Go to configure, then click on the GameCube tab. Change all your settings to what you see in this video. Pause the video if needed. Now let's set up the game directory. Navigate to your mounds folder and then click select folder. You should see the game pop up. Finding this game online is not hard. Just run a search. Make sure the game is in ISO format. Right click on the game and select properties. Click Edit Config, copy and paste the below script into this location. File, Save. Your Patch tab should look like this. Close. Now go into your Controller Setup tab. Make sure your controller is selected. I'm going to use an Xbox One controller. Only set up the controls for what you see in the video. Go to Options, then Graphic Settings. Under General, make sure the checkbox next to Use Full Screen is checked. Take a look at my other settings. Now go to Options, then Configure. Click on the Interface tab. Make sure the Confirm On Stop checkbox is unchecked. Take a look at my other settings. Now you can play the game with just a controller. See the next part of the video for setting up the game on LaunchBox. Open up LaunchBox, go to Tools, Import, ROM Files. Next, Add Files. Navigate to your ROM and open. Next, for the platform click on the drop down and select Nintendo GameCube. Next, manually configure emulator. Add, type the name of the emulator. Click Browse and navigate to your emulator folder and select the executable. Now go into the associated platforms tab and make sure to uncheck the default emulator box for any emulators you see. Click OK. Next. Use files in their current location. Next. 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 Finish. And that's it for setting up the game on LaunchBox. The next part will be instructions for setting up the controls on the racing cab. Download X output, see link below. When complete, extract the contents to your computer. Open X output, click the box next to show all input devices. Should see your wheel in the list. Click add controller. Select Edit. The top option will be for your steering wheel left and right. Click Configure. Move your wheel all the way to the left and then all the way to the right. Click Save. Click the right trigger and configure button and press your gas pedal. Save. Click the left trigger configure button and press your brake pedal. Save. Make sure to click the invert button after. Now go through the rest of your buttons and set them up. Click the box next to Start Emulation when controller is connected, close, and then save. Now for the next part, I'm going to create some auto hotkey scripts to load and close out of X output for this game. I'm doing it this way because I'm not using X output for all my games in LaunchBox. Download and install auto hotkey. See link below. After installing, find a location you want the script to stay in and right click. 
new auto hotkey script. Going to name this script Start App. Right click on the script and select Edit Script. Copy and paste the below line in this script. Make sure to change the file path to your X output executable location. File, then save. Close. Right click on Create Another Auto Hotkey Script. Name this one Close App and Script. Right click on the script and select Edit Script. Copy and paste the below script into this location. File, save, close. Select both files, right click and compile script. Now you should see two new auto hotkey scripts. Load launch box, click on the game and then select edit. Under additional apps, click add application. Type the name of the script under application path, click browse, navigate to your auto hotkey script location, click on start app and then open. Click the checkbox next to automatically run before main application. Run the same process for the second script. Click OK when finished. And that's it, you're ready to play Mario Kart Arcade GP2 on your racing cab. This game looks great, but I wasn't a big fan of the commentary voice they added. It gets annoying real quick. If you like this video and want to see more, turbo boost into the like button, green shell the subscribe button, and power slide into the bell for future notifications. Until next time, buckos, this is the Arcade Pirates sailing out. Shot! The winner is Pac-Man! Outstanding run!